Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to Julio Set, and yeah, um, I kind of messed up the live stream, uh, you know, when it would happen, because uh, I have a pretty weird uh, reset, and the time zone is kind of weird, so when I would convert it, it would show as, uh, well, this morning, but nope, it's the next one. So uh, today I will stay without sleep so that I can react to the uh, live stream and then so that I can uh, wake up really early to um, basically uh, make a video on uh, the new uniforms and the new character skills. So, yeah, and as you can see, they kind of uh, start. They're kind of starting the update kind of early. Um, I don't know why. It should be about seven hours. So if for me they start at, uh, I guess um, ten thirty p.m. It should finish in about uh, at. I don't know. Maybe. It should finish uh, right after the live stream, or maybe an hour later. So I really, really don't know. Hmm. I think I will stay without sleep <laughs> the whole night. Yay! But anyway, let's check out the patch notes. And yes, I am really late uh, for that, and that's because I basically saw that uh, they released the patch notes as I was uh, getting off the, uh, getting out of my house to go to work and I couldn't do that. So I couldn't make a video in it, but yeah, as you can see, we're just checking out the first, uh, well, the post about the maintenance. So we'll have three new characters, four new uniforms, uh, legendary battle, of course, new uniform collection, um, five new characters. One new tier three, uh, well, five new character potentials. I mean, and we're we're gonna get two CDPs by the by the way. And yes, I know uh, what the patch notes uh, contain because uh, I couldn't wait and I read them. But yeah, two new CDPs. Uh, nobody expected this. Uh, new special mission pack. I when I first read this, I thought it would be new special missions, but it's just a new pack. Uh, whatever. Uh, other improvements and fixes, so yay, I guess. The compensation is as always, uh, like a hundred energy, a five star hero chest and a boost point, like 50 boost points, so that's not bad. Let's try to actually go to the uh, patch notes. And they're not calling them patch notes anymore, it's like just update details. I don't know if that will keep... Uh, uh, being the new name or something when they change the site, but anyway Let's start with this. It's just saying that we're getting three new characters Minerva uh, Korath and Nick Fury What? <laughs> Nick Fury. Yeah, that's what I meant to say um, And yeah, as I expected they uh, Released Nick Fury and they released a uniform for him at the same time just like with Doctor Strange and the other uh, guys there, uh, you know, uh, well, I can't even remember their names, but who cares, anyway, there we go, we have the four new uniforms for Minerva, Nick Fury, Ronan, and Captain Marvel, um, and then they're showing the potential that can be realized, the new tier 3 upgrade, new CTPs, whatever, the same things uh, that uh, the other post said, so, we have two, two uh, Kree characters, Minerva and Korath. Uh, she's a combat fe a female supervillain, and sorry about that. Of course, I will have the alarm on. Um, she can be attained from the uh, Shadowland selectors, so that's pretty nice. Um, now, her... Leadership is uh, the debuff decrease. I guess it's just like uh, Strife and uh, Jean. Uh, she has dodge uh, rate increase for uh, the, her passive. 
she gets like the bonus damage and she decreases all damage re received and she has guaranteed dodge rate at tier 2. First skill just the damage, second skill just damage, third skill it has a all attack buff, if I can keep it. All attack, all speed and critical rate buffs and just damage then. Uh, stun on the fourth uh, with the immunity. And of course, if you get it to level 6, it should be 100% of immunity, so that's good. And the 5th has Paralyze. Uh, I don't know, they're not uh, really helpful in World Boss, I guess. Or even uh, ABX, I guess this is gonna be a character for Shadowland. Hmm. But it, they should be good, I guess. And I'm hoping that they're good without their uniform because I don't know if I want to buy her uniform yet. Or I'll see if it, uh, you know, it's worth it and then we'll buy it or not. Um, I'm definitely uh, definitely buying uh, the one for Captain Marvel and I'll try to get her to tier 3 though it will take a long time. Because at the moment I have like 300 and something uh, CCF. So yeah, long way to go. But anyway, uh, we have uh, Korath now, he's a speed supervillain male. Uh, that's also a good um, type and, uh, you know, a, a good category of uh, character to have because we don't have a lot of those. But yeah, he's also free. Uh, his leadership is shit. Whoopsie. Um, his passive uh, gives super armor and all defenses um, and also it will apply some shock damage and paralyze, who cares about that. Tier 2 skill, uh, he gets guaranteed dodge rate and the damage increase, of course, and guaranteed critical rate, so that's pretty good. Uh, first skill uh, has a, a all defense uh, decrease, I don't know if it's stackable. Uh, second skill has bleed and shock damage, but oh, also silence by the way. But I don't know, bleed and shock, uh, not too great. Uh, the third skill has a damage buff and critical rate buff, so that's pretty good. And it also has immunity, which should get to 100% uh, when it uh, when it's maxed out. And this is a chargeable skill, so cool. I don't know, we'll see how it plays out. The fourth skill has a bleed and just damage, and the fifth bleed, stun, and a guard plus damage. So, I don't know, pretty good skills. And now we have Nick Fury. He'll be a bio sub character, so people are gonna get angry, I guess. But uh, I really don't care. I wasn't gonna get this uh, character, but when I bought the daily bios for uh, Victorious because I couldn't wait uh, I just used them for like five days I guess and then now I'll use the rest on him I don't know if I have uh, rank up tickets to get him to six stars but I should uh, have a lots of bios for him so I don't know if I do have rank up tickets I'll get him to you know, you know six stars and tier two but I don't know now, his skills. I mean, he's pretty nice. The leadership and the uh, support is pretty great, but we'll see how he plays out uh, by himself. Because I don't want another uh, Phil Coulson that can do anything uh, at all. And I want this uh, base model to be great, because his uniform is the old, uh, you know, basically the young Ning Fury. But this is the main uh, look that he has uh, in the comics. And I almost dropped my phone. Yay! Professionalism. Mm. Anyway, uh, so uh, leadership, it will be 25% uh, increase to all attack uh, at level 1. And at level 6, it should be 50% increase to all attack. So yeah, it's pretty good, I guess. Um, the passive uh, will remove all debuff all debuffs, so that's like Wasp. I don't know if it applies to other uh, people too. I don't know. Uh, tier 2, 
super armor, all defenses, and this applies to other uh, characters, but the only hero characters. And it decreases uh, damage dealt to super villain types, so that's pretty good. Um, and it's a, a 50% increase, so it's I think it's higher than uh, Ghost Panther, but Ghost Panther also gives uh, fire damage increase, so I don't know. Um, first skill uh, has a 60% chance of missing attack and the stun, and that's kind of like Domino's skills. I don't know. It should be uh, uh, better to survive with him, I guess. Uh, he has a guard on his second skill. Um, she has uh, he has bind and shock damage plus stun on his third skill. He has stun and burn damage on his fourth, and it says that he can move while doing this skill. So I don't know because some skills do say that, but they don't work. Anyway, fifth skill: stun, burn damage, uh, and oh, he has a buff for all. Uh, allies, so that's pretty cool. I guess he'll be a PvP type. Um, it will give immunity to uh, all heroes and to self. Uh, he will also, also basically he will just give immunity to all heroes, but not uh, the attack buffs. So that's kind of bad, but who cares? Yay! Now we have the four new uniforms. That's Captain Marvel, and as I fucking... Oopsie, 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 sorry about that. So, as I was expecting, uh, she was gonna get the uh, nice look with her hair, and not the mohawk and the mask, and I expected that uh, that would appear only on the tier 3 skill, because uh, just like in the movie trailer, she does not keep the hair like that the whole time. So, yeah. And... Basically, this will change the effect of skill uh, energy absorption, and it's a 1050 uniform, so yay. Ronan will get a nice damage buff, and it, it enhances a lot of skills, so it should be a good uniform. But I don't have him built up, and I don't really care about him, so that's why I don't have him. And I don't think I will get this uniform, basically. Um, now we have Minerva's uniform another 1050 uniform with uh, chain hit damage increase so she should be pretty good she should be pretty good um, and then we have Nick Fury's uniform uh, with some skill enhancements and it's another 1050 uniform and we'll see these uh, when the update drops because you never know uh, how good they may be you know just like with uh, Magneto with just two skill changes but yeah, this is the tier 3 skill for uh, Captain Marvel, if it can be done uh, properly. And the fifth is changed, if you can see, at the beginning at the beginning they buff, it should be a buff or something, uh, except for the damage it should have a buff, because as you see they use the fifth skill, and it has the, the huge icon on the floor. Um, and then they do the tier 3 skill when she launches a uh, comet, I guess, on them. And a lot of uh, hits uh, come down from that. So that's gonna be pretty nice. But we'll see, we'll see. Because on picture, you know, uh, on paper this uh, skill doesn't look that great. It has fear, silence, fracture, and stun. So I'm guessing she will be a PvP character, maybe. Because for wall boss, this won't matter at all. Uh, it will have ignored uh, like 15% per, of ignore defense, 80% chance to penetrate, and ignore target dodge by 100%, so that's pretty good. And just the damage, so yeah. Now we have the new legendary battle. Um, there you will have three missions basically and you'll get the rewards based on how much you've ranked up their uniform and yeah that's basically it i guess and then you can buy the extreme uh mode can you go away thank you uh where if you uh do some challenges you will get the new ctp so yay uh, they have a new uniform collection 
So I guess you will, you will get the regeneration uh, CTP, so not the other one, but yeah. Uh, and they say that if you complete this uh, collection uh, in a certain amount of time, you will get a uh, bonus reward, so yeah. Now, the new CTPs, which nobody expected would uh, be released, but there we have them. So the CTP of regeneration, regeneration is pretty, pretty cool. I don't know how beastly it will be if you uh, equip it to uh, an already uh, great healing character like Wolverine or Deadpool. So I don't know, we'll see about that. But it has um, max HP, guard break immune. Um, it will increase the regeneration uh, by 90%. And the activation rate will be when it's uh, below 50% of uh, health. Um, it applies a shield of max HP and ignores cancel and pierce effects. So this should be interesting actually. And also you have the 10% uh, uh, HP recovery. So basically this will give a regeneration to uh, characters that can't heal and it will improve the characters that can heal too but it's pretty cool that it can uh, ignore piercing effects oh wow that's that's really nice uh, now we have the ctp of rage with critical rate dodge rate and uh, uh, a chance to increase uh, the to actually ignore the damage decrease uh, by uh, i don't know if it's like the uh, enemies uh, debuff or just the bosses, the world boss ultimate bosses, I don't know. And it will uh, increase uh, the, uh, the damage per dodge and per critical rate percentage, so I don't know, that's pretty cool. We'll have to see the effects uh, they will have to, like, uh, to the characters. But yeah, there's the new special pack. And they, they still require you to tier 2 crystal. I don't know if another uh, pack all already required that, but we'll see. Uh, that's pretty weird. They could have uh, released a special uh, mission pack anyway. Like, not the pack, but special missions, other new special missions. Uh, but if you click complete this one, you get a CTP of authority, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, they added batch uh, Uru amplification. I don't do that shit because it takes a lot of gold. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not even doing ISO 8s. Imagine Urus. Um, I guess the achievement chest has been improved for the score. It's kind of bad because uh, we already got a lot of chests from that and those are gone. Uh, I think now it will stop doing uh, autoplay when uh, your boost points are. Uh, you know, uh, are all gone. So that's also really nice because I do auto play uh, a lot. And also, they added a uh, vibration when uh, the auto auto report. Uh, oh my God, I can't speak. The auto repeat stops. So that's really really good because now you'll know when uh, uh, the game has just stopped playing and uh, you're waiting and just realize. Uh, 30 minutes later than uh, that you've been basically waiting for nothing but anyway they added a new sorting uh, feature with the you know superhero supervillain or neutral or male female neutral so that's gonna be easy to find characters and then they kind of improved this uh, epic quest collection uh, panel I don't know, and the notification when you complete a collection, so, you know, it's pretty good, I guess. And now we have some small fixes, not a lot actually, and uh, what they did was they fixed an issue regarding uniform effects, where uh, when it activated uh, the uniform uh, icon was still pink. They fixed an issue uh, for Victorious, where her comic javelin skill uh, attack buff is now pro proportional to her HP. And they uh, fixed imp impending victory, uh, and now it will apply the buffs, so that's great. Let's see the comments.
<laughs> just for fun. Um, yeah, awesome, awesome, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, sure. Nice update, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it was funny. Uh, I saw an... Uh, wow. I saw a comment for Netmarble about, from a guy saying, I said no super villains. Why don't you listen to me, Netmarble? It's like, who cares, bro? They don't even know you, so they can just listen to you. But anyway, that's it for this video, I guess. Today I'll make the reaction to the live stream, and then in the morning I'll make a video uh, where I react to the new skills, the new character skills, and the new uniform changes. So that's great. See you guys. Bye bye.